Hi, Carol here, and welcome to my craft room slash cosmetic uh, tutorial. <laughs> okay, now this tutorial is sent out to my wonderful, wonderful friend, Carolyn S. I didn't know whether she wanted me to put, say her last name, but Carolyn, hey, you sent me an email and you asked me to share my nail polish. <laughs> And I guess when you do videos and just your hands are showing, uh, people notice your nail polish, they notice your jewelry, you know, so you have to have your YouTube on and have your nail polish uh, and your jewelry right there. <laughs> okay, whatever. But anyway, um, this is how, it's nothing new, but this is how I store my nail polishes. I change them um, what I do is when they get halfway down, I add nail polish remover and then I use it until it cannot be used anymore. And you will know when your nail polish cannot be used anymore, even if you add nail polish remover to thin it out. So then I just keep it. I only keep what is, uh, keep a store, you know, uh, and, and not only that, the price of nail polish, I couldn't believe it. I went to buy, um, I went to Walmart and I, what did I went there for? Bananas. That's what I went there for. I ended up leaving with with a cartload. Um, and then I wanted to buy this new nail polish. And it's the one that I have on here. Now, I don't know if you can see, but this glitter glows in the dark. The end glitter. Okay. Now, this glitter that's on here, um, this is the new nail polish thing. Let me haul it out here. Uh, this is the name of the nail polish. First, let me back up. I keep it in the uh, shoebox lid on my dresser. I can see it. I don't need any fancy schmancy container uh, box with a lid. If you can't, if I can't, I want to see it quickly to be able to go and do my nails. So, they came out with this new Step 1, Step 2 uh, by Sally Hansen. It's called Miracle Gel Top Coat. $10. Okay? Unbelievable. I was talking to this older lady. She was looking for nail polish. And I said, if, did you think we would live to see the day when nail polish was $10 a bottle? Now, you can get uh, these bottles at Walmart. And they're really nice. The Pure Ice. And um, I don't know what's on there but uh, there we go this is only let me see I think this is $1.99 if I'm right beautiful color but you can tell when you put this on compared to the $10 Sally Hansen and this is the if it has the black stri the stripe around it like this it's the Miracle Gel. It works with the Miracle Gel, which is this glass coating. If you go and get your nails professionally done, I used to years ago, I don't anymore because it's just way too expensive. So I just do my own nails. And so if you look for these lids, the only problem is they're, unless you find them on sale, they're $10, they're $9.97 in Canada. Um, so anyway, and I do them in color order, just like I do anything else. Okay, so all my golds and silvers and sparkles. These would be nice on cards too, you know that? I was thinking that today. But I do everything in order. And this one, she said, name the colors. Carolyn, this is, this is for you. Uh, I wouldn't do this for too many people. <laughs> I'm not a cosmetic, uh, this is not what I do in my videos, but it's kind of exciting. Uh, to think that uh, let's let's do cosmetics. So this is 577, and it's uh, says dark humor, 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 humor. I don't know. Is that French for something? I have no idea. It's French for 997. That's all I know. It's a really nice uh, thick. It has a thick end, and it has this glow inside it that when it goes on your nail now I'm old school I never thought I'd live to see the day I'm putting dark uh, nail polish on my nails I was one to always have the neutrals like this uh, 
Rimmel Salon Pro uh, color here. Something not, I wore this for years, the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, this 560. And it is uh, tough taupe, they call it. Beautiful color too. It's in between like a mauve and a pink. I love that. And this 425 pink satin, I've, I've got it down to where I'm going to have to put some nail polish remover in it if I'm going to get any use out of this, is nice. Uh, so my pinks and my beiges and my oranges are over here, and then it just goes over to my purples and my deep, you know, sparkle. This is beautiful nail polish. Um, this Nicole. I love it. It's got a thick end and I wear this as well and it shoot for the the maroon. Shoot for the maroon. Yes, it has the sparkly stuff in there. The one I think you like is Pat on the Black 510. I have two of them. As you can see, it has the black ring so you know it's... I don't even want to say how much it is anymore. So I picked another one up last night. Uh, this is a really nice color, this Pat on the Black. And then, if you go on over to Walmart, they have, see this um, um, coating, this gel coating? This is what they use in the salons to put that really uh, plastic finish on your nails, okay? They use this here, $10. This ring reads 10 bucks to me. <laughs> that, and it's like you don't need no light cure. You know how they put... If I can remember back in the day, they would put it on and you'd go under and light cure it to get this plastic look. So I'm going to show you, um, just a second here, I have that. It's like the Insta Nail. Well, it's not at all because this is plastic, I'm telling you. And it lasts, it says, three to four weeks, whatever color you have. So I said to the lady, is there any sales going on? Because I'd really like, you know, something less expensive and she showed me these isn't that and this is the gel envy diamond top coat and she said it's to it is the the Revlon idea of this top coat that Sally Hansen makes this was on sale two for six ninety seven the two containers you get the color and the color stay so I thought I would give it a go they only had uh, three choices. One was a lighter color and then these two. So you're getting two of these free uh, diamond top coats. So I'm going to give that a try. And this is 210 dealer's choice and 440 wild card. Yikes. I don't gamble, but that's the colors. What can you do? Uh, <laughs> I threw that in for free. Um, so what I did to get this look, Carolyn, this sparkly glitter thing that runs down my nails, if you can see it, I think my thumbnail kind of shows it better. It has all those little sparkly things, is um, I bought up these Sally Hansen nail art. But I didn't buy it for the nail art. I bought it for my cards, <laughs> for my shaker cards. But I keep it in here. So it comes with... Um, these little containers here. So what you do is you put your top coat on. Say I'm using my uh, 577 Sally Hansen. Uh, this dark humor, humor. That says hue and then M-O-O-R. So to me it's humor. And um, you put this on your nails first. Then you take a dryer sheet so there's no static in this container, this clear container. And then you I love these for my um, cards, my shaker cards. That's why I bought them up. They, they're, they have all kinds. I think you get three to a pack and they're $4.97. So um, look at these. This, this is for my shaker cards, really. But then I saw this one when I was putting on my nail polish last night. And I thought, I'm going to give that a go. I used to do this years ago, like really fuss with my nails and do all this, you know, nail art and hearts and everything else. And I thought, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to even try these beads. Um, but this is, like I said, for my shaker cards. But I thought, um, 
it'll be look at the black I used my signature used to be where I would put a diamond on my pinky a little diamond right here and then I put the top coat when I did my nails they put the top coat over and I'd have one diamond on each pinky there but um, and it matched this beautiful set that my husband bought for my anniversary um, this uh, is it um, what stone is that it was like that it was this close I love Princess Diana's ring and it was the closest he could find and it has a matching necklace and um, it's in lockup and I, t and I wear it once in a while I absolutely adore it and the necklace is the same size here as the ring so pretty and it matched these nails so I put it on for this tutorial <laughs> um, and that's what they're for right if you get an anniversary gift and it's you know something this beautiful you should wear it and you always have locks like on my necklace it has a double lock so it's pretty safe um, so what you do is you put your nail polish on and then you anti-static with a dryer sheet in here and then you pour this whatever you're going to use in this container then while the, your nail is wet you just put it over to the corner like this and slide your nail up like slide that stuff up because it's not going to be all over the static will keep it moving put it like this and it's stuck on your nail now after you do that you take your clear top coat and you just start at the back and bring it forward but I do want some up in the nail so I kept it you know the little pieces that landed on top of this and then I did a second coat over it and then I just ran it across the top of my because I'm not going to keep this after it's done I just ran it over the top and cleaned the lid uh, the hairs the bristles on the end off and then put it back in so that it wouldn't contaminate the rest of the bottle when I use other colors so that's it Carolyn and uh, you get these at Walmart the little beads it has a nice I think I'm going to try this one uh, I got this new which color was it I wanted to I bought for that this one I'm going to try it with this uh, 500 it's mad woman <laughs> that's my color <laughs> I have a patent on that name <laughs> oh that's cute um, <laughs> I needed that laugh anyway I'm so full on Saturdays it, my husband and I, I make a big breakfast like bacon, eggs, hash browns, muffins, uh, the whole bit, Ovaltine, and, uh, you know, put some pastries out. And that way it's brunch because he'll be filled up until <laughs> uh, supper. I just load that big breakfast brunch on. And so I decided to eat it too. I made a big omelet. And I'm telling you, I can hardly breathe. I threw that in for free too. So anyway, look at that combination. Now if I if you want to if I had to do it again and you didn't want so much on the edges like this I would just take put your nail polish on like this you know then I would take um let me get that back where it belongs I would take this put it in your container like this and dip the brush just dip your brush of uh top coat in the sparkles and then run it one time then go like this on the edge to get some of it off and then dip it again and go over it because then you wouldn't have it so thick on the end you would just whoop, have it running through your um, um, nail you know and this is pretty good stuff because look how shiny I'm sorry I'm so close look how shiny that is like it's just like uh, when you put a sealant on your hardwood floors <laughs> yeah so anyway if that's a thought I'm gonna give it a go you'll see it on my tutorials I'll try these just to but mainly it is for my cards my shaker cards uh, if you're looking for you know stuff that's different to put in it I mean look at the silver and the black here I love the size of those little diamonds and another thought I just want to make this a short tutorial if that's possible I have so many videos I have to get out I'm going to do a video on um, different 
ways to, if you don't have uh, an embossing buddy, how to emboss with different things. I'm sorry, how to make it so that nothing sticks. And we're going to try out some different embossing powders too and just see what they're like. I'm doing that. And uh, that's why everything is out over here. And um, was there, oh yes. So this is the this is the beads here you get three now you can get these at the dollar store I told remember I told you but the little packages are only I should have saved one out they're only this tall so I figured this is three of them so that's you know this is five dollars yeah I, you know that way I didn't have to I drive a big truck and I didn't have to drive to the other end to go to the dollar store so I picked these up they get you every time don't they and then I was thinking of these things, if you're looking for nail art, you know this machine, this Imagine S that we all bought back in the day when we were doing because of the uh, cards. This heats up with batteries, and you just press it like this, it gets hot, and you put one of these diamond. Whoops, I have batteries in there. So and these little containers were on sale. These iris containers at Michaels, and they have. You can do nail art with this. They have every, these are all size diamonds. So this has, you know, for shaker cards or your nails, but this is all diamonds. Well, not diamonds, you know, diamonds to look like diamonds. And this is your colored uh, sparkly circles, and they heat right onto your cardstock. It's wonderful. They have a glue under there, and they don't, you can mail them out and everything. And then they have the larger sizes that have, this would be great for your nails because it has the little container. Let me just show you here. Um, see these little sticks that come in the pack? And then they have little tops with the little holes in it. Can you see that? That you can substitute the top of this so not everything comes out. But I put it in the little containers that it comes with right here. I have them stacked and they go on top of here back on my dresser. But I bought uh, something that, a uh, brush that I'm going to use on my next tutorial and it just slides open. So I'm going to think of a way to incorporate some things in here. But the reason I'm telling you, see these sticks? They have them inside here, the Imagine S. And you just take uh, like a little bit of water, then you or a little bit of uh, non-stick like white glue and then you just grab one like this and then you place it on and you can place it on your nails I mean it's awesome so that's a thought I thought of this because I have this uh, I use this too once in a while on my cards and um, yeah and these iris containers are wonderful these are my water pens that I keep in them right there and they're nice and stackable and I'm getting to where I'm starting to fill my 60 drawer apothecary and that's exciting so anyway this is a short tutorial I can't think of anything else as far as the nail art uh, so this one Carolyn is the 7577 dark humor I'm going to call it navy because that's what it looks like to me. The one I know you always see is Pat on the Black, the 510. And that's a Sally Hansen black ring around it too. And, you know, you, my thing is you always get what you pay for. It's so true. Another color that this Pro Salon is nice too by Rimmel. I know you've seen that color. I'm trying to just see. And my favorite, favorite uh, sparkle one I use is the this one that this uh, Nicole and does that have a number it shoot for the maroon um, it says NI385 but anyway that's in the navy and then I'm starting to get into the blues here this is instant dry this is nice too um, It's a pretty color, isn't it? I like the lights. But I thought I'm going to try these other ones, the two, the ones by Revlon. And this is your tutorial there, Carolyn. Thank you so much. This um, uh, 
I think it's called uh, Koi. I like their makeup. I buy their makeup. And it's at Shoppers Drug Mart. It's just, uh, I'm not sure if they have this at Walmart, but I know I get this. That's a pretty color by Koi. And uh, it is Smudge Me. <laughs> the names, aren't they cute? Yeah, so there you have it. Just a top lid of a shoe box when you go into Walmart. Um, they throw them away, so just ask. I get three, four every time. I think of it when I'm in there. I go to the shoe section and say, do you have any old shoe boxes? Can I have the lids? Because this works for a ton of things that I... Because um, you can slide it, you know, under your bed if you're, you know, just with older makeup, you but you still want to keep it. Just keep it in here and then, you know, slide it in. Anyway, that's my tutorial on my nails for you, Carolyn. And uh, thank you so much for asking me. And... <laughs> to mention my nail color every time I'm on. This way you see, this is the palette that I use. I very seldom step outside the color realm, you know, of, uh, I like to do the silvers on here. Um, you know, just do a pinky nail and put the silver uh, over top of whatever color I have. You know, some people like to do it on this finger, you know, the wedding finger. But um, I like the pinky. And these are, oh, these NYC, they're long wearing. These are at Shoppers Drug Mart, and these are only $1.49. So the NYC, I see them at Walmart as well. But I know at Shoppers, this is where I pick those up. Okay, there you have it. Thank you. You have yourself a blessed weekend. And we'll move on to this other tutorial I have for you on um, verse, different types of embossing powders and how they work on black and white cardstock. Take care, my friends. And I hope, it, you know, everybody else that was wondering, <laughs> I don't know if there's like a lot of people wondering, but, it, you know, like Carolyn, um, that was so nice of her to ask me to do this. I never thought to do it, and I never think when I have my hands out, you know. Uh, but, but it is true, because I know, I remember seeing somebody's tutorial, and that's where I got this from. She mentioned the color that she had and I thought woohoo and I ran out and got it <laughs> so it is important for us uh, you know craft makers that just use our hands out there to have nice nails and you know I mean it's like uh, even if you don't wear nail polish you know you should clean your fingernails right and have them nice when they're out like this <laughs> my thoughts for the day <laughs> okay you take care everybody thanks so much if you like this you can give me a thumbs up i just learned where the thumbs up button thing is and i've been thumbs up and everybody i couldn't figure out where it was like where it was on the actual tutorial so now that i do you just slide your cursor over onto the um, actual video and boom it pops up i was doing the little thing on the left with the uh uh, check mark thing in the left, but it's a different thing altogether. And I often heard people say thumbs up, but it means a big difference because if, if you give a thumbs up, I just learned this from this book I'm reading, this ebook. You give a thumbs up for somebody's tutorial, it moves you up on the scale of YouTube, it says, and your videos get shown more often. And I need a, about a million thumbs up. <laughs> so keep pressing that button, folks. <laughs> Take care. Have a great weekend.